so um I suppose we need we need all need a holiday, but I, it's a case of making sure that we protect ourselves and book a holiday where we're not going to fall foul of fraudsters. I think it's really tricky at the moment because everyone is absolutely desperate to get away, and whether that's you know in the UK or overseas, which is obviously a lot trickier at the moment. Um, so this research that's come out today, um, which was conducted by Lloyds Bank, has basically said that nearly a quarter of people in the research have already been approached by fake scammers who are looking you know, to, to get their money, basically, and, and tempt them with a holiday. And, and I think it's one in eight has actually handed over money because these scammers are so good at at convincing people that they are for real. And so with everyone desperate to get a holiday and you see a deal that looks too good to be true and you feel kind of pressured because you think, oh, if I don't book this now, it's not going to be available because everyone's so desperate for a holiday. So what the research is saying is simply to just don't rush it, you know, take a step back, don't click on any links, you know, in emails or texts that you're not expecting ask someone that you trust whether or not you know they would hand over their money as well and just be really aware that um this is really prevalent at the moment we've we've heard of so many scams on on this program i haven't actually heard many involving holidays but i suppose inevitably when you've got a supply and demand issue you know lots of people want to book holidays they are in short supply because so many people inevitably having to holiday over here and that does mean things pop up. So how does this work? This Is this kind of fake sites or fake holiday cottage or things that don't actually exist? Exactly. I mean, it, it can be, um, it's so easy to set up a fake website that looks really genuine and looks really authentic. Um, you know, adverts online, social media, or you might get a text or you might get a call or an email. Um, and basically, you know, it's really very, very difficult, if not impossible, to tell whether you're looking at a fake website or whether what you're looking at is real. So in order to, to you know, have the best chance of not losing your money and not getting scammed, um, one of the tips is to make sure that you always pay by card because then you are much more protected than if you transfer money directly into somebody's bank account. And that sounds really obvious, but a lot of people still think that a bank transfer is a secure way of paying because I guess, you know, there's a, that it's traceable. You should be able to fit, find out who you've sent the money to so that you, you know, you kind of would be lulled into a false sense of security, but actually, um, Anyone can say, just transfer money into this bank account, whereas only a reputable company will be able to accept a card um, or other, or, you know, other formal authorised ways of paying like um, PayPal or Apple Pay or those kind of things. So just, just make sure you're not transferring money into somebody's bank account without obviously verifying who they are properly. And, and the gold standard is always really to pay by card. It kind of makes sense anyway, doesn't it, if you pay by card at the moment, because we never know what's going to happen next and whether there'll be cancellations. And you're always more protected if you do pay by card. Exactly. Because of the Consumer Credit Act, you've got much more protection if you've paid by card. If you transfer your money over to somebody, um, you know, you, you haven't got that sort of protection. So it's definitely um, it, it makes no difference to you um, because, you know, however you pay the money, you're still paying the money. But it, the time it does make a difference is if there is a scam going on. And, and, and you know, people often think that, you know, people that it's, it's usually people who aren't very tech savvy or maybe older people that get scammed. But with this kind of thing, it can be anybody because younger people have more of a tendency to book things online, to feel more comfortable about transferring money um, electronically to somebody's bank account maybe more so than an older person would. So really this this sort of scam has managed to, to, to convince lots and lots of people. One in eight people have actually handed over money. So, you know, it is quite worrying to think that, especially when the country's in sort of such a desperate need, everyone's in a desperate need. Do you know, that's awful, really isn't it? Holiday. And, you know, scammers are opportunists, and, are opportunists yeah. and, and obviously, you know, there is a demand at the moment for holidays. So inevitably, scammers will take that opportunity and they will try and make the most of it. But it's heartbreaking to think that people that may have worked really hard through the pandemic, desperate for a holiday 
have have been duped by this yes and fallen victim to it and you know and and lost potentially a lot of money because if you can you can kind of imagine falling into that can't you if you found what looks like the perfect holiday and the dates that you need happen to be available but they're the only dates that are available and you know that um, it's either going to get more expensive or someone else is going to book it and you feel pressured and someone's pressuring you into transferring money or a deposit into their bank account that should be an immediate red flag. You know, say to them, okay, I'm going to just, you know, just put the brakes on for a minute, ask if you can pay by card, you know, chat to somebody else that you trust and ask them if they would feel comfortable with it. Because even things like on a fake website, you know, they can use... Um, images or logos that would imply that it's all at all protected or abt protected and all of these kind of things but it it you know it might not necessarily be the case so this is this is the problem and it, it with everybody so eager to book a holiday at the moment with everything that's been going on it's understandable that so many people have fallen for it so i guess this is just some tips on how to protect yourself and your family that's lovely. Thanks ever so much for that. Very much appreciated. Nice to talk to you. That's great. You too. Thank you. Thanks Bye. So- Bye. 